Let's zoom in to a testis, singular for testes, and look at the anatomy here and use that to be able to talk about um, spermatogenesis, which is sperm production, which occurs in males. So this structure here is a single um, testes. This actually isn't the scrotum here. This is a muscle, muscle called the cremaster muscle. Um, not really that important. Here we've got our, this whole thing here. So I think there's two labels for it. This is the head of the epididymis. This is the rest of the, or the tail of the epididymis is this right there. That will become important. We know some other structures here. This is our vas deferens or ductus deferens. And then down here, we've got all these little tubes. These are important. This is where sperm development occurs. This is our seminiferous tubules. And I believe that is all I need you to know about the testes. We're going to look at sperm development, which occurs in here. Um, sperm then mature in the epididymis and then travel out through the vas deferens. So let's look at what happens in sperm development. Here is a cross section of a testes. So if you zoom, this looks a lot like what we just saw. This is a histology section. You're gonna see this in lab. Here are all the seminiferous tubules. Kind of you can see that there's a whole lot of them, a lot of little tubules. And then if you zoom in to one of them, here is one tube. So the cross section of one of the many, many tiny little tubes. This is contains sperm. So I'm gonna um, switch over to a kind of cartoon view of this, like this. So this would be the same view, one of these. And now we can see that there is a lumen in there, a hole, right, with space. And then what these things are here are developing spermatocytes. So we're gonna have all kinds of names that we give to the different um, developmental points for sperm. Spermatocytes is one of those names. So here, as they develop, they go this way. And so here you can see the mature sperm. See this little guy right here? It looks like this. That's a mature sperm. These guys all in the periphery around that are not mature yet. These other cells around here are going to become important. They're supporting cells. Those are called Sertoli cells. And then there's also Leydig cells that are, are, are our endocrine or hormone producing cells. So in order to talk about sperm development, you do need to recall from intro bio, meiosis and mitosis. So if you remember, mitosis is cell division. All your cells do this, not, not all of them. Many of your adult cells do this all the time. It's going from a 2N, right? That means diploid. Mitosis keeps that two in. Meiosis is when you are having the number, dividing the number of chromosomes in half to make a haploid organism. So the first step actually in spermatogenesis starts with a two N diploid um, spermatogonia. And 
And that is going to divide by mitosis. When you have mitosis, what's the product? Two cells that are 2N, right? Let's circle our cells here. So this is just actually maintaining the spermatogonia population. This one is going to just stay a spermatogonia. This one is going to start to go through meiosis. Remember meiosis, there's meiosis one and two. Meiosis one is when we divide in from diploid to haploid. This now, these guys down here are our primary spermatocytes. So spermatocytes are haploid, just like your sperm are, right? We've got to get it down to a single set of chromosomes to be able to combine it with the chromosomes from an egg and make a genetically distinct baby. Let's see. I'm sorry, let's see, is that right? This actually becomes the prime secondary spermatocyte here is called the primary, the one that's going to go through the meiosis. I don't think we need to label that one. I'll just put it like that. After that division, it's become the secondary spermatocyte. These two are actually the same, but one of the one that's going to, to go through meiosis is called the primary spermatocyte. The one that stays a spermatogonia stays a spermatogonia. So the secondary spermatocytes are going to then go through meiosis two. They stay N, right? because they're haploid, we want them to stay haploid. These are our spermatids. These are going to become sperm. So let's see, let's, let's let, I'll draw them separately. So these are going to mature. And what's gonna be different about them is they're gonna grow tails. This all happens in the seminiferous tubules. And actually, it's pretty cool. I can't draw in this picture. It happens going this way. Oh. So we've got the spermatogonia out here. We've got cell division happening as we move in. So you're, then your little sperm are in here. So it's happening across space here. In the epididymis, then, these guys are going to mature fully and learn how to swim. It's important, right? They gotta be able to swim pretty far, actually. 